Hello and welcome back. In this lecture on neurodynamics, we're going to discuss the common dysfunctions that occur at the nerve's mechanical interfaces. These are categorized as either closing or opening dysfunctions. Let's start with closing dysfunctions. These occur when soft tissue or joints fail to close around a nerve, or in some cases, close too much. Just think of a patient with sciatic nerve irritation from a disc protrusion. They'll be bent forwards to avoid closing the nerve foramen further and to try to create space around the nerve which has been diminished by the disc protrusion. In this case, the closing dysfunction is a compensatory pattern to reduce pain. The opposite to this problem is excessive closing, which is a less common form of closing dysfunction and often linked to excessive mobility and poor movement control. For example, a heavy rucksack can cause prolonged scapular depression, commonly called scapular dumping, which can cause excessive closure of the thoracic outlet. Next, let's consider opening dysfunctions. An example could be stiffness between two spinal segments and a reduced foramen opening. Now, what occurs here can be a lack of overall pressure reduction on a nerve root during normal movement, which equates to an overall average increase in pressure which influences blood flow, which influences nerve health. So to further explain this concept, it's not that the nerve is trapped, but the nerve is not given enough relief of pressure to stabilize its overall average blood flow. Excessive opening can also occur from excessive joint range and is often linked to some form of joint instability. Nerve pathologies of mechanical origin can occur for a variety of reasons, including disc bulges, stenosis, muscle hypertrophy and fibrosis. And chemical irritation can also occur from the nerve's exposure to blood, spinal disc propulsus and inflammatory exudate. A full review of neuropathologies is well beyond the scope of this video, so we're going to end here and get ready to start the neurodynamic tests. You can find these in the nerve testing playlist where you can choose which test you want to watch.